Hey what's up guys welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video we'll be looking at new trait that has been introduced in the latest Laravel version which is 7.4.20. Basically it helps us to run a code in fluent syntax. So first of all I'll show you without using it and then I'll show you how can we use that. So here guys in this page I have name email password user type and send welcome email and submit. This is a simple form and if I go here in this here it will just submit to this user controller and it will call this store method. So here I have just validated the inputs. We need to hash the password before saving it to the database. So I am hashing it and then I'm just saving it to the database and I'm just returning user created successfully. So here I have created a user create user action which will take the parameters and it will execute. So if I go here inside here guys, so it will just take this with params like this and it will return this. So now we can call execute after this because with params is returning this and execute is also present here. Okay. And we also have this send email. Okay. So here in the execute method, whenever we run this, it will just create the user and it will just send an email if this send email is set. So by default it is false. And whenever we call this method send email or we change this method then it will set it to true and it will send the email so you might be thinking i am just doing so many complicated things over here but let's say for a real world example guys we need to create a user then send email and also let's say we need to bootstrap some emails for the future so let's say we want to send some emails to the user after one week two weeks or after a month so chain of emails here yeah, we can also do this in this action so it will be just in one place so here guys we are just calling newing of that action and just performing those actions now here let's say we want to configure this another method send email how can we do that so here if i show you guys in the ui so here is the send welcome email and if i show you here in the code so this is send email so if it is one if it has the value of one then we will be sending the email to the user otherwise we will not be sending the welcome email so here we can do it in this way so we'll just assign it to a action and we'll just break it and here we'll say here if request and then we'll take this send email send email equals to one then we'll say here action send email and then we'll again call this action execute okay guys so it will look like this the code will look like this we need to break the chain in order to accomplish this feature so now let's say we don't want to break the chain then we can use this new laravel conditionable trait so we can just go to this action here and we can just use the trait here use conditionable trait and it is illuminate support trait and conditionable so after using this trait what we can do it just we can change the method when so if we pass true here then it will execute this otherwise it will not execute it okay so let's say we pass it over here like this and we'll call a closer here and whenever this is true then it will execute this closer otherwise it will not okay and the first parameter will get the instant of this object okay action and now we can call this over here like this now we can remove it and now we can also just delete it from here and add it over here and remove it completely now you can see here guys the code looks much more cleaner now let's see this in action okay and we also don't need this action variable now now guys if I come here in the browser and let's see I fill the form over here I am not clicking here in the send welcome email okay now if I click here in the submit now it has submitted and it has said the user created successfully now if I go here in the database and refresh here now we can see here guys I can see the user and if I come here and look here the email so nothing is sent which means that it hasn't reached inside this so now let's check the box send email and try again I'll fill the form and I'll check on this send welcome email and if I click here in the submit then you can see here guys the user has been created successfully and now if I see here in the email now you can see here guys the email has been already sent so this is the email that I have prepared guys so if you look here in the action I am sending mail to the test at laratips.com and you can see here guys it is sending to the laratips.com and if you go here inside the mail then the view is this emails slash order status and if i open that 
blade now you can share guys this is the email and you can just confirm that it is the same email so guys we can make use of that conditionable trait and just make our syntax much more fluent so fluent means just we can chain the things together now also let us see that what is inside that conditionable trait so here inside the action so let us see inside it so guys it is just it has just simple to when and unless okay so let us only look at this when because unless is just a negative of when so here it is just checking the value if this is true then it will go here otherwise it will go here otherwise then it will go here so if it is a true then it will call this callback so this function yeah that we have sent from here this function if it is true then it will call this function look at here guys and whatever we have returned from there from this function it will also return that so here we haven't returned anything so it has returned this so in a trait if we return this then it will just return the object of the class where we have used the trait so here we have used the trait in this create user action so this means the create user action here and let's say if we have passed any default callback over here okay so let's say this is a false and then if we have returned any default callback then it will execute it in the same way that it has executed here and let's say if this is false and we don't have passed any default value then it will just return this which is this create user action and it will just let us change the methods that are present in this create user action so it's so simple and so creative and it has been implemented by taylor otwell himself the creator of laravel so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching have a great day bye